Hey Bobber, it's me today. I want to do a discussion video about the current state of Fortnite. Now, I watched a video by Cypher PK. I believe that's how you say it. I don't usually watch his videos, but Kevin sent me a video about him talking about Fortnite and the current state of Fortnite, and it's pretty interesting. Um, and it's pretty cool. I like the video when you talk about Fortnite. There we go. Um,. So I want to talk about it, and before we get into that, if you think you enjoy this video, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, so let's just get right into it. So, I, I, the, the angle that I want to take this video at, because this, this is going to be kind of a clone of his videos, because I have been seeing other videos, kind of a reaction to his, because it has pretty much 3 million views. But I want to take in the angle of what this game is like now, the, the perspective of it. How this game has morphed into something else. Cause I've been playing this game since season three. Not season three of chapter, of chap I'm, not, I'm not gonna call it chapter one, just season three. I gotta say chapter two, season three, but that hasn't came out, come out yet. Which is not until June 4th, which I was dating the video already. But to get to the point, I've been playing this game since season three. Um, the game was a lot different back then, I think as many of you know, because that's when the game became really popular, a lot of people came into the game and all that kind of stuff, and basically, it was different. It actually was a battle royale. Now, what do you mean? Well, well, the first start off, in my opinion, I think Fortnite's prime. You know, because a lot of people think, oh, Fortnite's ruined, Fortnite is the thing, well, when, when did Fortnite change? Well, this is my opinion. When I think Fortnite has changed was from the prime of it, at least, was season 1 up to season 5. And season 5 is kind of a, a stretch because that's when they changed a lot of the graphics and it didn't feel like Fortnite. Like, it was starting to update all the graphics and, like, the whenever you won, it, you know, it was slow mode and it showed a boof, victory out. It wasn't just you died and you just showed, just popped in. It, it faded in and it was nice transitions, but... You know, it wasn't any of that old effect that, you know, these old 2017 effects has been in the game for quite some time, and it's just been changed, and it kept updating ever since. So Season 5 is kind of a stretch, is what I mean, but it still contains that gloriness, and a kind of more personal uh, connection, because that was in the first Battle Pass I like, I played, and I got a bunch of skins from that, I, the Battle Pass is good. That's where we get into the whole Fortnite's morphing, because once... He, Season 10 of Chapter 1 felt like it was morphing, like, the transitional period when it started, because it became popular and they have billions of dollars, but Season 10 when you felt the effect of the fact that they are not really a battle royale anymore, they, they are, uh, this game, Fortnite, is a, is a social event, it's a sport, it's, it's like a cartoon show, <laughs> I'm getting into all those reasons, because before, first, calling this a sport, I'm gonna go with that first, because the whole ninja tweet that a couple weeks ago or a month or two ago saying that, uh, what was that, what was that, that, cause saying it's just calling this a game is such a weak mindset, and people are thinking, oh, this is a game, well, not really, in my perspective, this game I associate with basketball and football, cause of the younger people and the esports players, because you have the... In basketball, you have these famous basketball players, and kids want to grow up to be these basketball players. That's the same thing with Fortnite. Because Fortnite's so popular and big, and these streaming platforms are so popular, kids, this is their new version of basketball. This is their new version of football. And they want to grow up to become these Fortnite pros. They go into creative and mess around and practice for an hour, just like the pros do. Um, just like how... People who play basketball go to the court every day and practice for an hour. That's what that's it's the same concept. So calling this game a sport is valid because that's kind of what this game has become. It's just it's a sport. You play and practice to get good, to eventually compete if you're lucky enough, and you win money. Even though that's very unlikely for for these young kids who want to become pros because they're not you're not gonna nominate some like eight-year-old to 
compete in a cash cup or whatever, to my knowledge. Without the right management and all that, you know, not some random eight year old gonna be in some tournament with FIFA or whatever if they qualify. Whatever, whatever. Like, I, I, I don't know all the competitive stuff. I'm very casual when it goes to Fortnite, but when, I, when it comes to the overall, from, from a casual perspective on this competitive league, I see it as a sport. And it's very similar to basketball and football and all the sports in the real world. This is just electronic, and it's much different from. Rocket League and um, Overwatch and all the games that are competitive that are famous for it. Because Fortnite has these esports and pros, and you have these kids that are so dedicated to doing this. Now, I, I can be wrong on this, and other people, other kids can be playing, you know, Rocket League or practicing, but with Fortnite, you have creative, and creative is such a place to practice. And you could, I, I, I could see the same concept. Like I said before, with kids playing basketball for an hour and practicing and going into and going to creative and practicing for an hour, just what the pros do, and it's like that's the same concept. So and I now want to go into a social event. Now a social event, what I mean is that Fortnite has evolved from a battle royale to a social event, and the biggest example is the Star Wars event. Now I like the Star Wars event, even though I couldn't see it. I still liked it because um, I, I couldn't see it because the game, my game crashed, and it was like I couldn't get back in because everyone else was going into it. Because this event was more Star Wars than Fortnite. Now, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I appreciate it. But it would have been, I can see it being annoying if you aren't a Star Wars fan, and if you're more of a Fortnite fan, this isn't really much Fortnite. It's more just the director of the movie getting interviewed by I don't know who, but. Uh, that's basically what it was, it was a giant interview, it was a virtual interview, and this is getting a glimpse into the future, like, we're at a point where we are seeing a virtual uh, meeting, uh, interview, in a video game, like, if it, there could be options, to, if I was in the game itself and I was able to turn off the players, and just stand there, and watching this projection of an interview, that is the future and that's basically what it is because I, I like watching interviews like like star wars and i like watching star wars interviews from whatever time frame for whatever movie and it's interesting to see their perspective on the film at the time and even though this was more of an interview it wasn't an interview but it wasn't it was different you know director the movie talking about k-pop or whatever it's you know it's whatever but having this event represents the social event the social activity of fortnite because it's so big and popular and what's weird is that there is a star wars game right now that they could have done this in but they didn't <laughs> they didn't they decided to do it in fortnite because fortnite is popular and it has that potential to do it because that's what they've done they've done live events before but the live events were done with storylines now they've done a social event with the marshmallow event i think that's where they got this idea to do for the star wars one I was not there for the Marshmallow event, but what I've heard and seen is that it looked pretty cool and it was a live stage. Again, this is the future because you literally have these, um, these musicians and people, just these famous people going on the Fortnite and doing whatever they do in real life but in a video game. And you could be there without having the hassle to drive to a concert or drive to a place to watch an interview, you can do this at your house online, and that's the future. Instead of going out to a real place, you're doing it in Fortnite. So that's why I think this game is morphed into a social event, because whenever I play Fortnite, I don't play for winning, or I, I, I only play for challenges and being social and, and you know, in the game, doing stuff in the game. Like, actually trying to win is not my priority anymore. Like, I won before many seasons ago, and, and chapter 2 started, I started getting wins, but people don't play Fortnite for Fortnite, rather it be for social events, um, like the, the Star Wars one, the Marshmallow one, or just being social and creative maps, going to war zones, because people don't play, that's popular, because this game is boring now, and you know, that's inter interesting, I was playing desk runs that people have made, um, there are people that do challenges, like I do, 
and just spend the game going to challenges. I usually, I sometimes go to like the agency, not well, the shark, the agency of the place is with the henchman, and just go there for five minutes and just mess around. Try to get the key card, try to escape before the storm comes in. It's a nice mini game in the game, which it's very weird. It, it's fun and all, and it's better than actually playing the game itself because it's rage inducing. But yeah, that's that's for that example. So the last thing I want to talk about is Fortnite being a cartoon show. Now, now what I mean is that over the seasons and over the years, this game in its trailers, the, the the animation looks wonderful, and it looks to a point where it looks too good. And what I mean is that. Over the years, we've been giving Epic Games the money. They have billions of dollars. They are a billion dollar company. So they can put that money into animation. And it goes to a point where it's going to the actual game now, where Season 2, Chapter 2's lobby, or Battle Pass, doesn't even look like, or the, the menu or whatever, doesn't even look like Fortnite. I guess it's a secret agency thing. It looks like a completely different game. And that's kind of the point that I'm trying to make, is that this the game has put so much money into it that it just doesn't look like the game anymore. Like, if you were to go up to someone and give them a, uh, like the poster for the current chapter, current season, and, and show it to someone who isn't familiar with the game, or even an older person, say may not know at all, and just show them it and say, what is this? Like, what genre is this? Like, is this, like, what is this specifically? And they'll say, oh, so it's like a cartoon show. And because, you know, it's what's a cartoon show? It doesn't look like a video game. It's the game, the cover, are all the trailers looks like it's from a cartoon show. I mean, New Escape Pros, I believe, the YouTube channel, they do stories and like stuff like that throughout the seasons. They've been doing it for a couple years now. And I like their channel. I watch it occasionally, but they have like a storyline that they built up. Um, and that's pretty much similar to what they're doing. Like, take these characters and make them the actual people like with character arcs and motivations or whatever and that's pretty much what Fortnite is now and it's what this it's this cartoon show now that thing is meant for kids the thing is meant for all ages that's what they met that's what the storyline is for but for, for new skate pros it's a bit more for children but for for epic games and their storyline it's more broader more Specific, even though it is aimed towards children as well, it is t aimed towards larger audience for all ages, and that's kind of thing that I like about the storyline. But I feel like it's gone to a point where this the, the game doesn't feel like Fortnite anymore when it turns to the animation and everything like that. Like it feels like another game. So hopefully these three points kind of. Uh, illustrate what I'm trying to say. Sorry I haven't been making Fortnite videos. I did want to make a reaction video like I said in the previous video but I realized I, I there's what I wanted to look up is it's not that easy to find or it's not what I was looking for. So hopefully that makes sense. Um yeah. Uh, I just want to make this video talking about how this game is just far beyond what it was when it originally came out and that's why um I may not be playing Fortnite all that much, I'm gonna be honest, um, it's just, this game has evolved so much, and I think I outgrew it, like, it's just, I'll still play the game, but I don't know if I'll record it, cause it's just ridiculous, and, uh, yeah, maybe I'll, in the gameplay, whatever, is gonna be whatever, I don't know what it is, yeah, I don't know if it's my footage or footage from season 3 when I played, but, I, I, I don't know, it's, I haven't, seen it because uh, there's also a lag issue when I record and my like, game lags and it doesn't stop me from playing and it's just ridiculous and oh my god it's just ridiculous this whole, this whole season is just ridiculous the chaos engine I'm gonna assume it's that it just screwed everything up for my computer and recording and there's nothing to do about it and, and this whole thing gave me a, a broader perspective on this game because it's no longer a simple game is more complex. Everything has to be complex. Every skin has to be released has to have has to have a style on it or else no one's gonna buy it. Every pickaxe has to have some reactive thing on it. And it's just too much for me to handle. My coat turns to cosmetic sides. Like 
it's just too much. I mean, even, even recording. There's no point recording this game for me. Because nothing that I do is original. Nothing. I can't do anything. Stuff, stuff I've been doing doesn't get views because no one watches it. It's not worth watching because you can just watch it on someone else's channel and they do a hundred times more better than I do. So, yeah, that's gonna end up this video. And this video, I don't know how long it's gonna be. Um, I just wanted to talk about the current state of Fortnite and how it evolved and how it doesn't feel like Fortnite anymore. So, yeah, I'm gonna go now. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe. See you later, everyone. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong, I know I've been blessed. I, I had a thousand chances, how many left? I, I, I've been sinning lately, what do you suggest? What should I do? I want 999 more Hail Marys right now. Right now.